You can't. Okay, that's fine. What's funny is I've seen the AI cancel it, though. Hey, France. Let's be friends. Take my delegation, finally. And let's do a religious alliance, because why not? I like Islam now. Cool. Auto derps first at Diplo when that's new. AI cheats. Oh, AI always cheats. Where was this? Where was that one? Oh, hey. Nice. Our volcanic city. Some sexy towels popping up, though. I like. Uh, money's good. We need another turn to get a builder. Okay. Uh, Sue in there. What if we go for a science victory without actually getting any of the bonuses? Like, without ever running any of the policies that give us extra science. Which is so stupid. That's what makes them even more ridiculously powerful. We have all of these plus four suins, and then we get this, and they get freaking plus four again. So we have plus eight suins. Like, that is so stupid. God, they're so OP. I forgot how really OP they were. Uh, actually, speaking of builder, there you go. They don't cancel it, they lose it. I swear to you, I have seen them stop building it, and it disappears. And no one else has built the wonder. Australia is good, but they are not, they're not Korea level. I feel like Australia can catch Korean signs. I think I had Australia at like 7 or 8. They get plus housing in coastal cities, the commercial hubs, uh, or plus one in sh uh, charming towers. It depends on your map type. Because all I really remember about him is the Citadel one. And the Outback Station doesn't really help either. Australia is better from a production standpoint, I think. Plus three bonus. But, but once again, plus three bonus. So that would maybe, if you're lucky, give you a plus five campus. I just think it's so much easier to get the plus four Suins. Consistently. Military emergency no, failed. Good. Um, we want to max you out. Give me the curator. Australia doesn't have direct scientific bonus. Yeah, they just get the it for the appeal. And the other thing is, like, and this is what also makes Korea ridiculous. So Korea gets the Sioux in, and then every mine around it gets plus one uh, uh, science. Also, keep in mind, Korea also starts with a uh, hill uh, bias. So they're always going to start with a ridiculous number of hills. Like, we did not do New World Age. This is just how the game spawned us in. And so all of these campuses are going to get plus one. Now, if we were Australia, not only would these uh, mines, sorry, all these mines get plus one science um but if we were australia not only would these mines not give us plus one science but they would actually reduce the appeal which would lower our can our science so that's where korea i think is just on a whole nother level oh we're just going straight nazca i don't even care anymore you can catch up to anything if you raise enough <laughs> yeah i'm not saying he's better but he can match oh i mean i agree like, especially if you're playing the AI, like, you can always catch the AI. Well, usually. Unless you're playing against Korea. And they're getting, like, 300 signs per turn on turn, like, 100. Which has never happened. Alright, well, this guy sucks a little bit. Because I don't think we have more than two mountains. Yeah, they spawned with no mountains. Holy crap, dude. There's, like, one mountain on the entire island. Ooh, there's actually quite a few over here. Never mind. We want to go there with this guy. Hello. Come over this way. I think we're going to take you in here. Am I driest run? You pronounce Korea like Korea? Yeah, I talk too fast. I have two cities in the campus surrounded solely by mountains. That's nice. That is nice. Norway game where you don't build a district, only raid. <laughs> that would be great. I, possible now. Possible definitely now with the changes. Galileo, Galileo. Galileo, Galileo. 
Oh, let me go, let me go. Uh, you know, I could have funded your war. If you're at war, I don't know, I could have funded you. I see, I don't want to give you that. I don't really care. Uh, you will pay me for that? Sure, let's do that. You can just mass build scouts with Kree and win early domination. This is true. Kree would have an option. I don't think you could on Deity, though. From the height of these pyramids. There you go. Pyramids now, too. We're just going to make the ridiculous, de ridiculous desert town. How about that? Give me the library. And you're building here. Then you're going to go build on that one. And then you're going to go build on that one. Brian serenades us with Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah. Brian's in a great mood tonight. <laughs> Brown's got the best wide receiver in the league. Brian's playing as Korea and just dominating the game. So Brian's competitive nature is sated. Brian's in a great game. Norway game where you don't build a district and only raid with scouts. And you play on a Pangea map and you have to be in the center of the Pangea map. Yes. Is this PvP online? It's not. Brian's just competitive. Brian's hyper competitive, so it doesn't matter if he's playing AI or not. He still wants to win every single time. And, like, legitly, you guys don't understand. If I have a bad day of recording where, like, things don't go well with my game, I am, like, I get in a really bad mood sometimes. And I'm like, <laughs> like, my competitive, it just, ugh, it's bad sometimes. That's why, like, you don't see me play first-person shooters on camera. Because I will literally call everything BS. I will swear like no other. It just, it, 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 no. Mm -mm. It comes out, it comes out. And it's not pretty. Need to do the scout challenge? <laughs> uh, we might try, like, a Kree version of that, where we just declare war with Kree and only go scouts early game. Maybe that's, like, our thing. We gotta win the game as the Kree. And the only units we can build are scouts. Scouts equal rights. You can't even found your first city. <laughs> um, I see a slight issue with that, and that's how are we supposed to get the scouts? It'd be a fun to see a series where we do ridiculous challenges. I feel like it would be a series in which we just lose over and over again. But maybe. I feel it coming. Let's go. We got one more. We got one more and we get these Nazca lines. We don't even have to hold it, right? Like, we don't lose the lines. I would assume. He says quietly to himself. Also, can we talk about how terrible this volcano is? Oh, it's a desert volcano. That makes sense. Uh, go build a mine there instead. Forget that. Hey, Will Day! Thank you, thank you, thank you for the subscription! Best of six streamer pug. Aw, uh -huh. thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Yeah, spam the Jeff, spam the Dr. Bobs, let's freaking go. So, we talked about this earlier, um, but we did unlock the new emote. We got the tier 3 Salt Brian. Uh, that's going to be tier 2 as soon as uh, Twitch unlocks more emotes for affiliates, which is going to be sometime this month. Um, that means then the Jeff with the top hat and the monocle, he's going to be tier 1. And then I'm going to add in one of the other new ones we added in recently, which was... Ah. Ah, where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? So, I think I still have it up here. Yeah, they still have the emotes. I think I'm going to add in the Yo Jeff. I think it's the next one I'm going to add. But I kind of like the Jeff yelling, too. So, I don't know. One of those are going to be the new Tier 3 ones. So, anyways. Your MCs, welcome. Yeah, whatever. You have the line say if you're not suzerain. Okay. Sweet. We also need to go try, go play our new game that we were talking about playing. So we might have to bounce out of this game really quickly. So you're done. Let's go grab that. Okay. We literally can't build anything here. We can't, uh, we got a sue win. We can't build another district here. Uh, we already got the walls. 
I guess let's get a frigate. <laughs> I suppose. Just get the frigate for now. You buy that and give me the clams. Cool. And then you're going here, and then the whole idea was to buy this one and uh, this one. Alright, there we go. We're safe now. Uh, probably worst city ever, but whatever. Can you upgrade galleys in allies' land? Yes, you can. I don't know where my galley is, though. We could actually just take you home and upgrade you. And then where's my other galley? Oh, they're both right here. <laughs> there you go. Ever feel like towards the late game, you realize there simply isn't enough ground tiles to work with? Somewhat, but I usually get lazy with my builders. So, here's the thing, like, if I wasn't playing on camera and I wasn't, like, talking and stuff like that, I would probably, um, be a lot more efficient at building every single, like, city out to its max. Honestly, though, when you're commentating, and I've also put so many hours in the game right now, I just tend to get, a, like, very lazy. And I usually get, like, one to two builders per city and then just kind of ignore the rest of the tiles. It's the top three governors. Well, Ping... Well, here's the thing. Like, Magnus has to be number one. Ping has... Well, like, I feel like you have to pick Magnus first because you need provision. Um, although we've debated about this, that going Ping first is probably not the worst idea. Um, but Ping is uh, definitely by far the best governor now. And then I usually go Reyna just so I can get Tax Collector to make as much money as possible. Are you making more money than your Mali game? Nah. Our Mali game, we were making probably about 160 at this point. You can go there, please. And build that. Pits for scouts. Wait, wait, did you just cheer? Did I miss that? Hey, sword kill! Thank you for the bits! There they are. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh my god, fine. I will build a scout. Here, there you go. Wait. That was a really late one. One bit equals one scout? I don't know about that. That seems expensive. Or can I buy a scout? Can I not afford scout? Oh, I can't even get a scout anymore. I have to get a skirmisher. That religion's too big for a science game. Luckily, the religion's everywhere right now, so we're good there. I can't build your scout. We can't afford a caravel. I'm sorry, you were too late. Should cheer for spearmen instead? Oh my gosh. Ugh. All right, fine. I'll build a spearman because I hate it just as much. Actually, we have pikemen now. I can't even build that. Dang it. We ha Our units are too good. Refund. <laughs> uh, remind me next game and I will totally build a scout just for you. I'll even suicide it into a town because apparently that's what chat wants to see. All right, let's take you here and you're going to build some lines here in a little bit. I'll wait for the Kree game. Well, thank you for the bits. Despite the fact that I totally can't help or do what I wanted. Or do what you wanted. I think let's go get some of that. Build an aqueduct. Oh. Fine. I will I will queue up an aqueduct here. I will queue up an aqueduct. There. Uh, okay. You are... I guess gonna go work these desert tiles? They're just so cra- Actually, we can't work them, can we? Because they're- Oh no, we can build a mine on them. Yeah, we can build a mine on them. Is that worth it, though? Also, aren't we supposed to be popping out more, uh, settlers? Yeah. You got distracted. Go do that. I think we are gonna go build that. Kree scouts are basically warriors. Yeah, the problem is they don't upgrade into swordsmen, which is what sucks about the Kree. You need to beat the city with a whole army of scouts. That my lust is satisfied. <sighs> Let me get Nazca lines and we're gonna go play Kree for a quick bit. How about that? How about that? How big's an army? 15 to 25 ish, <laughs> yeah, basically. You should build an industrial zone? Probably. Probably. I'm trying to finish my Kilwa. Once we get the Kilwa, then we can start building industrial zones. We do need industrial zones, though, for our rockets. 
do that. Get a 1-2. I think it's better than a 3 nothing. They don't need to upgrade. The day we stop exploring. Are you freaking kidding me, Volcano? Seriously? Like, I literally just built that. I literally just built that. Why do you gotta be a dick? Why do you gotta be a dick, Volcano? Alright, let's skip a turn. We'll build on that one instead. At least he didn't kill my builder. Okay, Merchant Republic is done. Good. So, give me production towards Settlers. Give me production towards Wonder still. Although, I think Kilwa actually isn't a classical Wonder now that I think about it. Uh, we can get rid of the Wall one. Give me our Science and let's just go crazy at this point. Campus Adjacency. Growth on uh, not original campus is probably good, and then plus one gold, I think. Because I'm assuming we're not uh, all one continent. We just kind of guessed there. Actually, we're mostly one continent. <laughs> Whatever. Go for envoys. That's what we're doing. We got the kill one in two turns. We don't need envoys. We stream tomorrow. Uh, we stream uh, Thursday next. Well, we're at now at war with uh, the Dutch. So she declared war on the Ottomans, and so we got pulled in. I'm not really concerned. Where's she at? She was way over here. Yeah, she's way over there. We're fine. We'll buy some units if she gets too close. Uh, And we were going to buy this tile is what I wanted to do. Okay. So build me a mine there and don't explode. Research Envoy Civic. Actually, we don't want guilds, now that I take that back. We want... Uh, enlightenment, as quick as possible. Hey, Sword Kill, thank you for the bits, yet again. Is this gonna be on YouTube? Maybe? Maybe? I'm not sure what our next series is. Hungary is wrapping up the next couple days, I'm not sure what we're gonna do after that. It might be this one. Ah! Blind Porygon, thank you for the five bits! She has a settler by you, does she? She does. And guess what we have? Something to kill that settler. It's a ranged unit, though. You can't move and shoot? Really? Cannot move and attack. Oh, that sucks. I need a uh, melee unit. Suicide your scout in her cap. <laughs> No, I'm suiciding my scout to take her freaking dude. Her settler. Oh, there's my warrior. Run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. Settler rampage. Oh my god. Ah, assessor. Thank you for the 20 bits. Luckily, we can still do this. And you're going to get a bunch of signs right there. Oh my gosh. We're going to be able to take... Like, because we can one hit this... She can't put a city right there, can she? No. So you get one hit. Beautiful. Now you need to get over here and take this. I don't know. I don't know where I'm gonna go when the volcano blow. Ground she moving under me. Tidal waves in the sea. Sulfur smoke in the sky. Pretty soon we learn to fly. What song is that? I like it. Ottoman's gonna swipe it. Ooh. He might, actually. You're right, he might. Uh, but hold up. We need to start doing some Nazca lines, guys. Boom. Oh, so it's only adjacent. Eh, okay. Uh, I don't care about that. We want industrial zone. We don't want to put it adjacent to you. So something like that is probably our best. Yeah, we'll go here. Jimmy Buffett Volcano. Ah, nice. Oh, we're actually at city, uh, war with Yervin. Ah, eh, that could be a problem. Maybe. A range can still cap it. Yeah, I know. Oh, Moai. Okay, I was like, what? Those aren't chateaus. Shot pose. Okay, there's a bunch of tech right there. Thank you. Industrialization is done. Thank you. Let us go for scientific theory and get Oxford if possible. It's high IQ strat. 
Suiciding your scout into a city center? I'll make that trade. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, there's coal right there, too. Yeah, we're going to steal it. Is much more fun. No, we can't. That's a freaking hill. No, she might be able to get a city out. Ah! Kill her! Steam power for canal. Good point. Good point. Good point. Although we're going to wreck our pretty... Um, whoopsie. We're going to wreck our pretty lines here. I need money. Someone give me money real quick so I can buy another builder. Mm. Take all of my money. Take, take, just literally take all of this. And 180. 160. Thank you. Is that enough? I don't think that was. No, we're gonna need a little bit more money than that. Hey, Saladin. Do you want... Light Morgan, thank you for the bits. Buy a scout, go to get settler. Yeah, but I want a builder. Like, even if we bought a scout, she's still gonna be there. Like, there's no way we can do it. I don't think there's any way we can do it. I'm pretty sure there's no way we can do it. So she's probably gonna survive, but that's okay. Also, I can't buy a scout, remember? I have to buy a skirmisher. And I don't particularly wanna buy a skirmisher because it's like 600. It's throwing 50. And give me money. 280. 260. Although then again, if we sell everything, can we buy a scout? Nope, still skirmisher. Alright, I'm buying a builder because we're getting our Nazca lines. Buy a horse, buy a knight. Hey, thank you for the 12 bit sword kill again. Use a cab unit to capture it. I'm telling you, like, they're gonna be gone. Like, I can't do anything. Like, if she's putting the city right there, it doesn't matter. If she puts the city there, there's literally nothing I can do about it. We could buy a heavy chariot, which would get plus one movement. The horsemen, we just sold off all our horses, so. Buy a Petra. <laughs> Can you explain what's going on with those desert tiles? Okay, so we just unlocked the Nazca lines. We got the Suzerain bonus. So they provide plus one faith to adjacent tiles, plus one faith to adjacent tiles with the resource, plus one food to adjacent desert tiles after discovering civil service, plus one production to adjacent tiles after mass production, plus one appeal. So essentially, all we're doing is making adjacent tiles godly. Uh, mixed with our Petra is just making for an absolutely crazy thing. We didn't need one. What's up? We got it. What's up, Charlie? Buy religion. I'm pretty sure there's no religion left. <laughs> pretty sure we're a little late on that one. Can we do an industrial zone up here? I think I actually am going to do an industrial zone there. I don't want to use any of our pretty desert tiles, which is why we're building it right there. Go away. Get away from my city, man. Don't shoot me. See, Brian, you neglected the scout strat. You never abandoned the scouts. I still have the scouts. Why are you under danger? Danger. You can't work the Nazca lines. Well, yeah, but you can't work desert lines anyways. Desert flat, like, plains anyways. Uh... Unless you're saying that, like, my city can't actually work it. Which I think would be wrong, right? We missed the Great Library. That was a while ago, though. Oh, you can't work them. Ew. Wait, if you can't work them, what's the freaking point? Because it makes everything adjacent better, but... the adjacent tiles would be beefed up. Well, that sucks, man. I wanted to buff everything else and make them godly. 
I mean, I guess what we could do is put like a Nazca line here. And then that's gonna work all of these. But we really wanted that double bonus, which is what I was liking over here. Oh well. 